Fogarty, Doug, but I'm going to go back to Fogarty. We were in jail together, and uh, we were with uh, Philly and Eddie, a guy named Gino, a made guy in uh, Philadelphia. These were Philadelphia guys. We were all doing time together. There was a whole bunch of guys. This guy, Fat Cat Nichols, a black guy, he was controlling a certain part of the areas. Good guy, great guy. A guy named White Boy Rick. They made movies about him and uh, did 32 years in prison. Really got screwed. Hey, folks, how you doing? Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs. That was a piece that was on YouTube on Sammy the Bull channel. He just dropped that piece Friday, and somebody sent me that piece because he made mention of Fat Cat. And like right now, look what, Sammy the Bull, just in case you don't know who he is, he was the underboss, number two man under the top Don, John Gotti. John Gotti. Everybody knew him as the tough blonde Don because, once again, everything that he had done, every time they took him to trial, he beat it. He was the godfather. He was the GQ godfather. So if you Google Sammy the Bull, what it'll say is that he got 19 murders. He got 19 murders and all type of other charge. But the difference is because he gave up John Gotti, what happened is he got five years. The government gave him a deal for five years. And he went home. But here it is, what he's saying is, when he was doing that five years, he met some other guys. And he mentioned he met Fat Cat, Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols. So if you look at that and listen to that, everybody in Queens, a lot of people like to say, well, Cat didn't make a deal. You know, if you heard a rapper 50 Cent, he said, well, Fat Cat made a deal. Well, he didn't really make a deal because he saved his mom. Okay, cool. The difference is it doesn't matter. A deal is a deal is a deal. It doesn't matter whether you make an excellent deal Sammy D. Bull, 19 murders, five years. Brian Glaze Gibbs, I made a deal. Never testify against nobody. Guess what? Here it is right now. Is I, I'm not proud. Five murders, two attempt murders, 10 years. So the difference is, what's the difference between Sammy the Bull and myself? Okay, but yet and still regards what? Look what happened. Look what happened. You know? Okay, look what happened. Is that justice? But once again, everybody say Cat didn't make a deal. Okay, Cat never took the stand, but Cat made a deal. The difference is right now, otherwise he would not have been in Phoenix with Sammy the Bull. But the difference is when everybody look at it is, you know, he was there with Sammy the Bull and rap White Boy Rick. And even as Sammy said, he might do a story on White Boy Rick because once again, White Boy Rick made a deal, but he did 30 something years. Cat been in jail since 1985. July 29th would be 36 years. Even once he finished at you right now, saying if New York State decided to grant him parole right now, okay, even if New York State decided to grant him parole right now, I think he got to do another year or two with the feds. But when he finished that, he got to go to Florida. And him and Rick, white boy Rick, while they was in Florida together, they caught a case. So here it is. I think he got to do eight years for Florida for a stolen car ring. They were selling and stealing tag cars. Made a lot of money off of that. And they did it from jail. So what people got to understand is this, man. You know what? When you look at different things, everybody, every human being got good in them. We got bad in us. And we got ugly. And the difference is right now, if you look at a few weeks ago, Mano did an interview with the rapper, Bobby Smyrta. And what did Bobby say? Mano say, was there anybody there that you like that took a liking to you that was like a mentor and Bobby Smurdoff say it was this old dude okay Nichols fat cat Nichols everybody talk about the, all the horrible things that he did but he saved me he's a real genuine guy Bobby is 26 okay Sammy Bull is 75 years old big different big age gap you know Bobby 26 years old, African-American. Sammy, 75 years old, grandpa, Italian, ex-mobster. Then you got Cat, the 63-year-old, okay? Ex-gangster, drug pen, you know, drug kingpin. So look at the age grab, look at the difference. But here it is, you got two people from two totally different generation, two totally, totally different nationality, and they both saying the same thing. 
that Lorenzo, that cat nigga is a good guy. And what I'm trying to say right now, guess what, people? We all have good ways, bad ways, ugly ways. And we all, guess what, have the tendency can change. So the difference is, hopefully, you know, right now is, guess what? Like Cat, Sammy, myself, you know, a lot of people, what we do is we learn from our mistakes. And what we're trying to do is right our wrong. Like to me, like I say, my platform, my channel is my ministry. And what I try to do is I try to ex express myself. Talk about the good, the bad, and ugly experience that I've been through in life. From the prison system. From the street system. From now. And get kids to understand. To stop picking up that brick. Throwing at that prison wall for absolutely nothing. Crime doesn't pay. If you listen to Sammy the Bull, Google him. Follow him on a YouTube channel. Doing an excellent job. He got his podcast. You know what? Like I say right now, shout out to Sammy the Bull. The difference is follow him. He tell an excellent story about his life experience. It's deep. It go deep in the original surface. Hopefully right now people are listening to these stories and they understanding. Guess what? I made the right choice. I got me a job. Guess what? I make the right choice. I, I went to college. I went to the military. You know what? I didn't want to be out there in the street. I didn't want to be a criminal. That's the difference. That's what I'm telling you now too. You know what? Crime doesn't pay. There's no shortcut in life. Only thing come fast is trouble. Easy to get into hard to get out and hopefully like i said right now is guess what fat cat go to the parole board hopefully new york state will finally release him i think right now he got another buck he and a half two more years to go for his fed 40 year sentence and then hopefully right now from there he's able to go down into florida because him and white boy rick you know what i'm saying period caught a case together they left phoenix and went down to florida and they was together and they caught a case together. That's why Fat Cat got kicked out of, you know what I'm saying, the feds and they sent him to the state. That's how he ended up with Clinton Annex and that's how he met Bobby Smirnoff. Because after that last case that he caught, the government, uh uh, we don't want you in the feds. They sent him to the state. Go finish your bit up over there. And you know what? Don't get me wrong. Cat, don't, Cat didn't mind. Because guess what? By him going back to the state, he's married. Guess what? At New York State, you get conjugal, you get trailer visit. So he can have, you know, get his wife and family to come see him. So guess what? The feds, you don't have that. So he look at it, what's in it for him. But the difference is right now, guys, the more of the stories like this, man, like I say, hey, that man been in there July 29th would be 36 years, man. It's time for him to come home. It's time for him to come home. And the difference is right now, listen, folks, let he or she who are not sent cast the first stone. Hey, hit that like button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know what? Follow me on Instagram, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Listen, this is my story, this is my ministry, and I'm going to tell you ahead of time. I am not your typical minister. I'm going to talk about the good, I'm going to talk about the bad, I'm going to talk about the ugly. But I want people to understand, guess what? If I, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs, can change, anybody can change. You know why, folks? Because change come from what? Change come from within. Change come from you have to want to change. And that's the difference. Like right now when I got out, I said I was not going back. And I meant that. And I didn't go back. I didn't go back. They didn't give me a chance in, in hell. They felt automatically, you a career criminal. You going back. You going to do something. Somebody going to get you mad. You going to shoot somebody. You going to kill somebody. You going to sell drugs. You, no, 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 no. Right now is guess what? I learned. They made me say uncle one time too many. And right now I was not going to let my mother love and upbringing and teaching be in vain. She was no longer here. So I refuse to continue to add assault to injury. Mm -mm. Right now is I change for the better. Thank you for joining me.